Hello there everyone, this is Good Guy Palps, and welcome to Humankind. I have been pumped and waiting for this game for forever, so I'm so excited to finally play and share this experience with you. I just wanted to show what the game looks like before we actually jump in. I pretty much have mostly all standard settings, normal size of map, with just a few continents, some uh, six competitors, which matches the uh, size of the map, which is pretty normal. Difficulty is Metropolis. Town is actually normal, so I'm stepping up just one level, see how it goes. Not sure how hard it's going to be. And with that, we'll go ahead and get right in. I designed this custom avatar, not the clothing. Couldn't figure out how to change it. I think that just changes based off your, your culture in the game. But I tried to make it look like Palpatine as much as possible. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see how this goes. Could get demolished. Could demolish the AI. We are anywhere in between. I have been so excited to play this game. Played the betas. Hopefully you were able to see those. Regardless, betas turned out great, and I, again, have not, this is the first time I've launched this game, haven't played it at all, launched today, just really excited about it. Probably going to say that 40 billion times, I'm excited they want to play this. See the soundtrack? Awesome. I don't know if the, uh, audio is Our universe contains yeah. infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to have. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. Obviously. This is the dawn of humankind. Still hold the barbecue. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? Good question. Another day, another dawn of humankind. It is time to finish breakfast, give a rousing speech, right. and leap into <clears throat> the future. So this is the uh, color and symbol that we've chosen. We are now a Neolithic tribe. I have only the advanced tutorials on, just to make sure I don't miss anything. Or if there's any new content. Uh, learn about previewing the Fims resource output of tiles. Okay, tiles. We have one tribe here. We do need to explore. This actually looks like a pretty decent area where we're at with this river. However, there is snow here. I zoom out. This looks like we are in the southern hemisphere. And so when you go in further south, we'll see more snow. So I want to go immediately, I believe, into that. This could be a really good area to claim right away. We will see. We're pretty far on this river now. Claim this real fast. If we do that, if you learn nothing else, you could learn what killed them. Curiosity collected. Learn one science and five influence. Find this first outpost. Okay, there are different territories. Okay, so we could claim this territory. This territory, I don't know anything about it, so I don't want to do that yet. Instead, let's go use our illusion to hop by the If we claimed anything, it would be this territory right here. We're going to have some coasts, some mountains. Uh, I know there is a... Oh, interesting. Okay, so we're going to miss that. Right now. Interesting. We can go over here. There is some food. And this could be a great outpost, actually. Probably 
probably actually over here where we started. 10, 12, 9, 17. Do the 10, 12 makes more sense. There's a little bit more food, a little bit more production. We can quickly build this. We can have some good maple cores. So now we're playing this food. Delicious. Though next time, it might be better if you washed it first. No resources in this, this region we discovered. I kind of want to move north. Onward. There's some more food, another curiosity. Lost souls. Your scout comes to you breathless from exertion between gas. He tells you to be spied another tribe not far ahead. He leads you on. Then after giving a stop sign, you drop to your bellies and crawl forward in the brush ahead of young women no more than 13, somewhere to the east end. Or down to a dozen or so equally young or younger, young or younger tribesmen. Then you're crying, and when you see the bodies laid out, you understand they are mourning, and you know what you must do. All right, new army growing. Let me go next to the these children. Chances of triggering another narrative event, okay? New army, growing tribe next to hunting place. We get another uh, unit to start exploring, or we could get... reason for that is we can maybe go explore this way. I think this is going to be where we want to put our first outpost. It looks very promising. Let's go claim uh -huh. this right here, though. Alright, so the Nubians have been claimed. Some more influence. I haven't found any, any resources, and I wonder if they've made an update where you can't see them until after you claim the territory. No, because here's resources over here. Yeah, I think we're going to claim this. This looks very, very promising. Lots of rivers, lots of uh, lumber. The lumber helps you with production. Now, which tile do we want to put an outpost on? 613. Yes. A slower start here as we explore, but that's okay. All right, so let's go. Let's go ransack this. Oh snap! That bear is going to attack. We're out of boomer, so we're just gonna go ahead and ransack this. If we get the food. We'll have science more. I was tempted to come claim this because we get those two resources. Maybe we just throw down an outpost here. 917, 916. Pretty solid. Three movement left. The real issue is we don't have any AI near us that we found, so this could be pretty safe to claim later. We want to come explore east. However, the sooner we start an outpost, the sooner we start having some population. And we can still settle on another one. 917, 916. Uh, right. Five eleven, six twelve. Are actually is good, so I think we're just gonna throw down an outpost here. And I think 917 isn't bad. The real issue is could we have to put a maker's quarter over here? Maybe here we should get it done faster. We're actually start building it even more. Probably should have done that before. Alright, so the ransack was successful. So now, even though we're fighting, understood. You're under attack. Uh, uh, let's do a manual battle. We have two units here. Now, if we get, go here, they do attack downhill, but they'd have to attack from a river. If we, hmm. we 
Do we either let them attack downhill but from a river, or do we force them to attack from the ground? I'm not sure what's more beneficial. I think the river does quite a bit of punishment. Yes. So I kind of want to go there. Attack from that river. Interesting. So if we attack here, we get plus one from friendly unit. They get three from crossing river. We don't get. We don't. For the Attacking from our river. Now we could come up here. We just end the way. We get the uh, elimination. And now we have three units. We've got the growth star. Very nice. There are three ways to gain your first era star. Either increase your population, gain science. Okay, so basically all those curiosities. We want that. Very nice. There is a there. So we do have a resource here, and we have a lot of resources here. And a sanctuary. So we almost want to throw down another outpost. 915 is not bad. This territory is not as beneficial when it comes to having a city. But it would be beneficial to claim quickly. I think we actually want to put a city in here, though. Understood. Um, fame. Okay, so they say we, we got fame because we did all that. We're going to now come down here and bring this unit this direction to explore. We're going to claim. Oh, actually, we got some nuts. We have this. This will be an outpost. We want to claim this outpost and turn this into a city, I think. Seed of an idea. Yesterday the tribe came across a vast tract of wild grain. The stalks swaying in the breeze like the wind playing over golden waters. The, the ground down grain it could feed the tribe twice over, but one of the tribal elders had another idea. Instead of pounding the seeds into flour, she suggested planting happy ones so grasses may return next summer. This is a curious idea at odds with the nomadic life, but perhaps a harbinger of the future. What can we do? Plant. Minus 25% domestication resource cost. Okay. Or grind plus two food on city or outpost. Let's take plants. So we're gonna remind us later, I think, because I think I don't remember it makes us choose a city. Uh, I, I guess we do want to choose now. All right. So historically, empires grown from both idiosyncrasies and the diversity of cultures they have encompassed or come in contact with, meaning time to get to combine cultures to create their own empire. Justice, we know. There are seven, yes, understood. So the Assyrians, uh, let's see if any of their bonuses have changed. Uh, they have movement, uh, pretty cool. I don't know if there's anyone near us, though, so I don't think that makes sense. Babylonians could be the best. Plus two science per research technologies to get plus three science per adjacent farmer's quarter, plus one food per researcher, and they get these guys, not bad. The Egyptians are going to get plus per industry on producing, you know, on producing industry. The Tritonians are really good. Harapins plus one food on tile producing food plus one food on river. Okay, so if we come over here, we have a lot of rivers where we're gonna have this city and then this outpost. So a decent amount of rivers. I think the Harapins might be the best choice here for early. We get a big population boost. We start building canal networks. Uh, military could be potential. You know, could possibly be good, but we don't know how close people are to us. The Olmecs, again, the Olmec head's pretty good. We get plus three food. And we do build some farmers' quarters. The Phoenicians could be good. We do. We could start building havens. Give us a lot of gold. But, you know, I think, I think I'm going to go Americans. Their runners are not phenomenal. Um, but they do. Um, decent re uh, relations with our rivals. It doesn't make a ton of sense for Palpatine to do this. But... I think we're going to be able to boost our food. Right, okay. Um, where should we have some? So we can start building canal networks, which give us a lot of food, and we can really boost our food. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, 
rumors and hearsay. <laughs> While the Harapans certainly had markets, they left few remains. Please show us what they might have done. Sad. So we already have a fight here. That is interesting. So we're an agrarian. And <clears throat> I definitely want to try very lots of different starting strategies as we play more games, but I think this is the best way to start right now. Understood. So who is fighting us? Uh, let's do a manual battle here. <clears throat> we should win this for sure. I don't love being on these rivers. Off we go. So if, we, if we have to be on one, we might as well be on the high ground. We're on river as well. I don't know why they took that fight. That doesn't seem smart. They must be very aggressive, whoever they are. Now we want to go ahead and claim this outpost. 1515 is amazing. Yeah. We're going to turn that into a city as soon as it's done. It's going to take a turn. I don't want to turn this into a city yet. I just want to kind of scout here. There's a mammoth. We want to. They won't fight us. Uh, Follow me. But we might be able to find their lair. Lots of resources down here we're going to want to claim. Definitely, we want to claim this immediately. This appears to have been claimed already by the outpost. So we're going to want to go claim this quickly. We can choose our research. Now we do get, I think it was domestication. So we have a city. This doesn't really matter, does it? So we have to wait until next turn. If we go to the tech screen, what are we going to work? want to work on? Probably the lumber yard. The industry on forest. This would give us the ability to improve luxury resources. We don't know what this is, but I don't think it's a luxury. These are all forest tiles, as well as river, so we're going to want to see how we can boost that. Uh, we're going to boost that right. Uh, I should be doing harbor, that's not it. Harbor, oh right here, irrigation. There's two food on river. So we either want domestication or carpentry, but I think we want domestication. Archery would almost be a little bit more defensive, that's for sure. More industry. Hmm, this gets us towards stoneworks. I think we actually go towards domestication so that we go towards irrigation. Then we come down here to these. Uh, that population we get. So we do not want to turn that into a city. Um, how do I not do that? See here, let's um, check out some of the uh, editor and enter. That's what I did. There should be a way to force and turn usually. Hmm. That was the whole point. I wanted to make sure we do not. But I don't want to turn it into city, so that's not the issue. Let's see here. Hmm. Then I, I have to wait forever to turn this into a city, which would be really annoying. Well, hmm. Shift plus enter. I just looked it up, but that doesn't seem to be working. So, am I going to have to do this? I think so. 
Frozen. Well, that didn't have this in there. Yeah. Uh, it does. Break though. Um. Let's say we can. Let's say we can turn this into a city. It does, but it's not a district. We don't have the info. I just feel like it's bugging out. I didn't say how to turn this into a city. Nothing to do. I can't move it. Normally there's like a city option. Develop your outpost into a city. That's what the stuff looks like. I can't do it. Alright, well, we're gonna have two cities, I guess. Fine, this probably would be a city to anyways. So we're gonna have to turn this into a city and we'll just have to move our capital somewhere. This is really annoying though. That's why I was gonna wait to do it a culture. Hmm. Hmm. Shucks. Well that's fine. Canal network is going to give us Plus three food, minus three stability. Uh, that's gonna give us plus eleven there. These can work at long these nearby tiles. That, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, yeah, let's do that. And now you've met the Mycenaeans. Let's hope relations go well. Their forts are rather formidable. So they have chosen to be the Mycenaeans. This is where I greet you. Impress upon you the wonder of my people and tell you my ambitions. No, I gotta turn this off. Maybe, most of this now. okay. Maybe, yeah, that no, there's I, I said advanced tutorials, as in like only show the most important ones every once in a while. There you go. Now, let's go. Cool. Trade. All right, we want to trade anything. They have chosen my scenes. Good for them. Import, export. Select which trade routes should be displayed on the map. That's pretty cool. Treaties. Forbid new trade. Only trade luxuries. Share map. Open borders. Uh, their war support is growing. We could do something like this and propose. Come. Both our peoples need this. They have signed. There the is treaty. much to admire here. So now we could even trade if we wanted to, but we don't. All right, so now we definitely don't want to just abandon this. We need 160 influence to turn this into a city, which is something we need to make up. Now, these people can go really far. We'd like to immediately go claim this. Off we go! We need more influence to claim this territory. If you look at all these resources as well as a production hub, like this is where we definitely want to claim. We need 20 influence. Much. That's really pretty low. I think we want to take one of these guys north. Let's go. To help us kind of explore a bit. I don't mind leaving two here just to defend. Even though they are hunt like explorers. Maybe I bring two over here. And leave one at home. Come over here. We can get more from curiosities because of these guys. Yes. I can just come down here and explore real fast. The Mycenaeans are probably not going to go to war quite yet. It might have helped to be more defensive. We'll see. Uh, Egyptians have been claimed. A very powerful civ, in my opinion. Follow me. Go ahead and run inside. Forward! Yeah! Understood. Over this way. Off we go. Scout. Over this can. way. Come over here. So, you know what that Let's is. Go. We almost don't have Off we go. Those are the Mycenaean territories. So the question is, do we want to turn this into a city before we claim this? Probably not. I think we want to claim this and then we want to turn this into a city. 
Booty's to move right here. Let's go find that. Boom, 10 influence and 8 science. That is awesome. So exploration is very important for this uh, culture. I'm on it. I definitely want to go find and claim all these uh, curiosities first. That should give us, um, in two turns, find another curiosity. The ability to claim this territory. Wonderful Kawaiian has been locked by another empire. We successfully plundered. So we're going to some gold. And we need five more influence. Let's see if we can snag over this any way. here. Come over here. Claim any curiosities. Okay, so here's a. Let's go. Boom. Oh, I got 40 gold. That's good. But the gamble was that we might get influence. Right here. Okay, domestic research. Science Lake Hillier discovered. We were the first to discover this in the world. Gave us 30 science. Oh, it gave us some fame. We definitely want to claim this territory eventually. All together. Uh, but we don't want to yet. And now we just want to position wherever we want to put this. And I think we're going to want to put it right around where we're at, either on this river or right off of it. So just and then this guy, let's go explore the Mycenae. Over this way. Alright, so we look at our influence. Our influence is growing up here. That's good. Let's look at the tech tree. We got domestication. Uh, give us animal price. Plus five food for horses. We don't have the ability to deal yet. 25 turns for irrigation. That is. A lot, so we're going to say carpet to get fast, because that is kind of ridiculous. How much does that cost? 135. We increase science per turn. Yeah, that's something to explore to improve our science. We can just plunder the very nice. We now have the influence needed. Can we ask for a reparation? In fact, one of our armies at OCAD demands. Before we make that demand, we actually can win that fight. It does mean we're going to want to probably bring some troops back and put yeah. some units of defense in. Before giving us 20 gold, there's a lot of resources around here. Let's claim this territory. Now, I don't want to go without 70 influence. What? Why? It just said 20. All of your office in the city will cost 160 influence. So we need more influence, apparently. Um, I guess we can really deploy is there. So 14, 13. Your actions will cost you. I fell into your trap. Okay, so they aren't they aren't budging yet. We might be able to go up here and pillage though. Ah, so that is an actual city. Yeah, so we don't want to go into there yet. We do want to defend our outpost. We might want to bring this guy back to heal. Uh-huh. We'll wait here. We'll explore this. Come over this will be here. Stage. We just need to go find more resources, essentially. Follow me. Lots of resources. Come over here. Up on this river. Free movement. There's a sanctuary. There's two sanctuaries and there's a curiosity. Now, sanctuaries will give us some good things, but let's go grab this curiosity. That's what we really want to do. I'm tempted to kind of defend this outpost. Or they don't raid it uh, simultaneously. We really want to explore though, so it'd be worth pumping out some soldiers once we, once we complete this district. Come up here and defend and potentially fight if we need to. 
meantime, while we look for influencers, we just kind of sneak around and just to snag the population in our capital. They are just like all <clears throat> pure aggression. This is the right tiles. We're off the river and they can only have trouble. Together. We're just going all out. Essentially, I think war is like. Pay me or prepare your heads. And I think that we can also go back to here pretty soon. And maybe we can lay siege to the city. I don't want to uh, prioritize healing now. Win this war. Got it. Let's continue to explore over here. Let's go yeah. snag that. There's gold, very nice. Let's get rid of this uh -huh. so we can pillage it. Where is our other exploring thing? Let's see where we go in the middle. You want to continue in this way? Off we go! Is yeah, we'd like to maybe get to this lair, but we don't want to actually complete this fight. Of course. Hey, there's horses. This would be a great area to get. Alright, so we're not gonna wait for a lot of land, of course. Now we do have a lot of gold, you could just pay In, let's see, one turn we can get start getting archers. A city means shelter for those who need it. A place to store food. Pens for the pigs. It may not be glorious, but it beats sleeping so, under trees. <clears throat> we could get more runners. Archers, though, I think would be really powerful. And now we could actually get the... Uh, let's see, I'm going to get the GDP back. I'm going to this to get more influence. This is very important. Have a lot of forest. We kind of want to do this thing and buy out the archer next turn, and then probably we'll turn off the An archer coming up here would help us potentially win an early war. Come over here. I'm gonna come into our territory. It's like being. Keeping it up. heal here. One problem with, with trying to ransack that is that I can, they're peaceful, so I don't think they'll just Follow fight me. us for no reason. If they do, it will be a learning experience. Now, calendar will help us get to. Let's see, defense. Let's, let's go to irrigation. It's our turn. Ransacked. Very good. <clears throat> anyway, I think we want to go here and pay the 139 gold. I have our archer, and now we're going to be getting our pottery. Pottery workshop, giving us more influence so that we can start claiming more territories or forming another city. We'd like to turn this into a city. This archer doesn't have any movement because we purchased that out. Now, the question is do we go start ransacking this? For their archer, really, it might not be worth waiting. They're, they might just be pumping out more soldiers. But being too low of health doesn't help either. Right? Um, I guess we'll just wait for that for a 
maybe the right thing to do is to bring this unit in. Alright. This is essentially a full army. I'm on it. Just curiosity. Just move along this river. Gold is real nice. Alright, Empire Foundation, by what right do we rule? We have 39. Oh, this cost influence, that's right. Plus 5 influence on main plaza, plus 3 faith on territory. My man, they are natural right. Now, the influence would be really nice. Plus 3 faith. We don't have a religion. Faith is good, but I kind of want to go natural right. We just quit learning a bit. And then we start getting more influence. Why was this even a question? Let's keep it simple. It'll be a short term. We've game. been here, it's our place. I think it is going to be very good. Now we are Palpatine. So we are. We haven't played him quite aggressive. The uh, Empire here. I couldn't find a very good look-alike for the Sith. Or even the Galactic Republic. Let's go. Way. You guys are almost healed. Here we'll, we'll let them heal each for one more turn. Snag that curiosity copper. This is like a production powerhouse in this area. Lots of resources. Definitely want all of these territories. Nice. Here we can have explore this way. Oopsie. Let's go snag that. Turn. They have one pop, so now they could actually get a unit. Uh, 160 is really nice. We'll see if that's right. Curiosity units, 10 more influence. Very good. We actually need 70 to claim this, which isn't too terrible. Follow me! Heal in a turn. We got this curiosity. We have one movement left. Let's go. One more turn, so I'll heal again. This AI might be the only AI on our continent. Now they do have an outpost out here. I'm on it. And sack. It's gonna take nine turns, which is pretty long, but it might open up this. Army composition. Now, this will take 16 influence. That's not much. This will make units cheaper. This will give us combat strength. I'd like to take professional soldiers. It does seem logical that this people shouldn't have to do a job we do unless they need to. This is. Uh, Let's keep this conversation. War support is high. Theirs is low. Conversation. Create your religion. Poly. Okay. Plus one faith per population. That makes a lot of sense because we're the Harapins. However, polytheism is my favorite per number of attached territories. It wouldn't count your main territory or it would. You have to be attached. If we go look at our capital, we have two pops. It's plus two, or this would be plus five. Keep our population high. I think I'm going to take shamanism. All right, let's get this archer forward. Over this way. Oh, we're we actually at war yet? Uh, okay, yeah. Let's go to war. Our war, to, our, our war desire is high, so. Um. Will do. And they have horses here. Thirty to fifteen. Off we go. Make them join together. Ransack there. Let's go grab this twenty gold. Might be also possible so far that the AI just isn't as good as things being taken. All right, so we could create stone rings to give us some type of faith. 
However, we're not hurting stability wise. We're at 100 percent. If anything, I think we don't have horses. It doesn't make sense to go to that. We don't need to go this now. Feast could be good, or we could instead do a lumber yard with some production, or a farmer's quarter. This gives plus eight. This isn't bad at all. Um, So we can do a farmer's quarter off of it. Just to see what the Mycenaeans are able to do here. <clears throat> That's a lot of gold. It might be worth actually just buying some of these things out. Let's go. I'd like to attack here. Not hop up onto that. Right. Okay. Thought we could come up on, on the uphill and that gives us an advantage. No mercy. So manual battle. Okay. Well, I guess we just have like a reserve. Of course. Go. Oh, patience. That's rough. Would have been better to wait for the archer. I wonder if they'll attack around. We'll just have them attack. So we have to wait till next turn. We are stronger overall. What does it say? It shows some legitimacy. <clears throat> These are really help. Plus, miners are going to create outpost costs. Attach outpost. Let's do the create outpost. We're going to do a lot. That of seems to leave a lot of interpretation of right and wrong. A lot of Not to mention outposts. yours and mine. We're going to claim a lot of outposts. They're the only person on this continent, at least that we can find. We're claiming claim every single thing here. Melody for every occasion. The teeming iconic city of Rafa missions are celebrated part of the local culture with a long history of hold in human rights. They are bringing ability to religious rituals, jollity, palaces, and gracious smiles to the simple and needy, courage to march in armies, and distraction to the gods. Alas, they are still too small in number, especially the good ones. And now word of their renown has reached across the empire. Lords, priests, commanders, among others, are grousing the city reserves and artists too. Before we build, there's some incredible building institutions. Let's take that. We have the gold. We don't have the tech for, re for reinforcements. The archer might not be able to actually join us. If I end the round, they aren't attacking. Okay, so we'll just. Come on! Yeah! We'll conquer. So now this is. We have occupied the city. Oh, they turned that into a city while we were ransacking it. That's interesting. Okay, so we, got, we want to get this archer out of there for sure. Off we go. Keeping an eye out. Everyone's playing aggressive. It doesn't seem to make sense. It seems to be working fine. I'm sure it's not going to work on increased difficulty. So again, this is the first playthrough. We want to learn the game and uh, see just how good we are or how bad we are. Ultra Heritage, captain of the great city of whatever, has a proud day for your empire. March to its gates, however, it is feared that a few opinions are equally powerful in their own culture. What do you make of the customs and laws? Okay, 
plus five stability on main plaza, plus five stability on main control center, plus some in influence. Looks like the multiculturalism else. Again, we're investing a lot into these rather than uh, something else. else. In fact, maybe we don't want to do that quite yet. Maybe instead, there is. Rebellion will occur because the stability is so low, but it is occupied, so it doesn't make any sense. Okay, now let's go here. Let's go ahead and make a an outpost somewhere in there. Right here, yes, there. Sir. Follow me. They do it. Speak can't, can't. and make it quick. Maybe that's why they're actually way right pretty high. So I think I could have just took their capital. I think I would uh, have done more. That does seem weird. Over this way. I'm interested to see how much this can change from invaders. See on the high ground here. I want to claim this contested territory. I'm going to claim all of this eventually. Level 17 is pretty solid. So I'm a great maker spot. Alternatively, we could do it here. Seventeen, thirty, fourteen. I think right there is the right. All right, we completed the maker's quarter. Very nice. Okay, it took ten turns to complete this. We get a lot of stability here. Be nice to come. You know what? I almost want to pump out another contract here. Two turns, and uh, it takes a pop, unfortunately. I need to claim a territory here. I don't have any pops. We could do that in a little bit. For now, I think we just claim this. Plus eight, which isn't terrible. I'm going to this maker spot. Plus five. I'm going to claim this right here. Take ten turns, but that is very beneficial. Very nice. Put that on the Beorian Star. We have a Regis here. We do. All right. Got a movement, unfortunately. It is a small. Uh -huh. There. Come over here. Melody for every occasion. Okay. Basically, we gained to move towards authority. A lost population. That means they built a unit for sure. They're back there fighting us. Off we go. One Charge! Scouts. I don't know why they attack. Let's fight! This is the word. Kill, we're protecting. Maybe it's delaying something. No fear! 
here we get the kill. <clears throat> Now, now. Out, so. A little damage. Still have the movement. Let's go. Forward here. This is also like the furthest part of our continent. No siege engine unlocked, so it doesn't make sense to maintain. We want to assault. Battle, of course. We're gonna put the archers on high ground. We're gonna just follow me. Attack up hill. Let's go. Archers again. How dare you resist the galactic? Charge! Military star. Honestly, we probably should have taken the military star at this point. Alright, we now have this outpost here. We'll come on. Whoa. I'll take down that. I'm not come over here. Over this way. Alright, before we end the turn, let's go over here. That's our influence at one. Once we take down 60, I think that's the next thing we do is take up and turn this into a city and make turn this into our capital essentially. Uh, Rose White Peace, can we force their surrender? Like, it, probably. Nine assist and infantry teams, and it's just like, we have nothing left. We're gonna end it. They, they, they've been eliminated. Right, so we can force their surrender. Total 274. So we could for we basically force them to pay. Force them to give us these cities and they become our vassal. Now we could most of them. Which one of these would we want? Probably here. I wonder if we could just turn it into We probably actually want this to be a city. So let's go force their surrender. Um, we, can't, we can't force them to give us a city. Either we get a city or we force them to become a vassal. I think we want them to become our vassal. And then... We know that all the winning tides original demands must be added to surrender trade. That makes sense, but it's... We let them keep both their cities. But they become our vassal. That makes sense. I think it works. I think we're gonna grant them their freedom. That's for sure. Now they have stuff over here. Is that what it's saying? Interesting. I think we can go claim up as much as we can. A lot of good territories out here. But if they become rich, they are our, our vassals, so it's not too big of a deal. They have a lot more territories than we do, though. Which is not great. I think I want to bring this archer here. And I want to bring this guy. I'm going to go exploring. Irrigation has been researched. Beautiful. Definitely what we want to put into here now. Um, once we turn this into a city, I think we want to start by trying to get outpost around our capital. <clears throat> Even though it won't be our capital forever. We also want to build flood irrigation. Plus two food on river. We are working several river tiles. I'm actually going to pay to do that right Debatable, but to harness the power of water itself in order to feed your people. That should make you popular. 
All right, we got some points. We got some uh, science. Okay. Okay. Cultural conversion startup. Nice. We already got one of those. Um, did claim this outpost. We want to go claim this one next. That was two luxuries and follow me. Maybe we want to claim it before we turn this on. Greetings to the Nubians. Oh, hey. Now there's some good fortune. Did meet another a neighbor who may be more interested in commerce than conflict. Help me make this world a better place for all our peoples. The Nubians. So, what do you say? Great things. Sign this will lead to... We do want to claim this now. Fourteen. Oh, so that's the borders we're seeing is with uh, Kerr. That's why. I think we do want to claim it. We're going to spend the influence and we're going to turn this into these natives to make sure we clean up these regions because <clears throat> it's going to be tough to hold them. And the Mycenaeans are essentially just stuck at three. That's fine. Now, let's just take the tech tree. We unlock this, which is great. We want to grab city defense now. Well, maybe calendar. Or calendar. So we can build some artisans' quarters up here. And then I think we should be done. All right, yes. This is a beautiful place to end this episode. Um, this has been a fun beginning. And I'm excited to continue. So stay tuned for this, the rest of this series. Again, trying to figure out the game. And we'll see how it goes. And if this goes well, we're definitely going to increase the difficulty. And Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I love you all so much, and I will see you in the